Hey, everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're diving into the latest episode of Chicago Fire, Season 13, Episode 2, titled Asterisk, Ride the Blade. Asterisk if you're as big of a Chicago Fire fan as I am, you're probably buzzing with excitement for what's coming up next. This show has delivered so many emotional and action-packed moments over the years, and it looks like this episode is going to keep that momentum going. Let's break it down and chat about what we can expect. Release date. October 2nd on NBC. Mark your calendars, because this episode drops on October 2nd on NBC. So, if you're not already caught up, now's the time to binge watch and get up to speed. Episode Breakdown. Ride the Blade. So, what's the deal with this episode? The synopsis gives us some juicy tidbits, and it looks like we're in for a dramatic ride. Pun intended. First up, we've got Damon. Now, if you remember, he's one of the newer faces around Firehouse 51, and let's just say, he's been a bit of a wild card. In Ride the Blade, Damon's about to face some serious consequences for disobeying Kid's orders during a call. If you've been following along, you know Kid is not someone to mess with. She's a total powerhouse and demands respect. When one of her team members goes rogue, that's bound to create some tension. But here's the twist. Damon decides to turn to Seve Ride for protection. Now, we all know Seve Ride, right? He's the ultimate firefighter's firefighter, always stepping in when things get tough. But, will he back Damon up, especially after he went against Kid's direct orders? That's going to be interesting to see. Severide's loyalty to his team is always a core part of his character, but I'm curious if he'll stand by Damon, or if he'll side with Kid. Either way, this is going to shake things up at the firehouse. Herman's quest for the perfect scent. Meanwhile, on the lighter side of things, we've got Herman on a completely different mission. Finding the perfect scent to spice things up with Cindy. And honestly, I love when Chicago Fire gives us these little slice-of-life storylines. Herman's always been the heart and soul of Firehouse 51, providing comic relief while also being the wise, grounded presence everyone can rely on. Seeing him take a break from firefighting to focus on his relationship with Cindy adds a nice balance to the intensity we're expecting from Damon and Kid's drama. Also, who else can't wait to see what ridiculous lengths Herman goes to just to find the right scent? You just know it's going to be hilarious. I can already picture him dragging some of the other firefighters into this quest or going completely overboard with some extravagant cologne. It's classic Herman, and I'm here for it. What to expect? Tension? humor, and firefighting action. Overall, Ride the Blade, seems like it's going to be a mix of tension, humor, and of course, the high-stakes action we've come to love from Chicago Fire. The dynamic between Kid and Seve Ride is always fascinating, and now that Damon's thrown himself into the mix, I think we're in for some serious fireworks, no pun intended. And on top of that, Herman's antics will provide the perfect comedic contrast to all the drama. With Seve Ride potentially caught between Kid and Damon, and Herman's hilarious attempts to reignite the spark with Cindy, this episode is shaping up to be another classic. I'm always impressed by how Chicago Fire balances the intense firefighting scenes with more personal, character-driven moments, and it looks like they're going to keep that balance strong in season 13. Final thoughts. So, what are your predictions for Ride the Blade? Do you think Seve Ride will stand by Damon, or is he going to have a tough talk with him about following orders? And how do you think Kid will handle this situation? Will it create a rift between her and Seve Ride, or will they come together as a stronger team? And let's not forget Herman. What crazy plan do you think he'll come up with to surprise Cindy? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below, and if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of my episode breakdowns or reviews. I'll be back with a full review of this episode after it airs on October 2nd, so stay tuned for that. Until then, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Stay safe, and keep watching Chicago Fire.